business, but most importantly um, about this entire industry. He's a father, of course. He's um, an associate pastor, of course. Um, he's a husband, most importantly. He works for law enforcement full time, but part time. He's here making over $250,000 in a calendar year, well on his way to over a half a million dollars. Um, he loves to travel. He loves to have fun. He loves to golf, of course. And um, I, I definitely, I really, really, really am so appreciative um, for Mr. Scott and all he has done for myself, my family. And most importantly, I got to say that big, my family, because that's a big deal, not just coming into business and just having a, a sponsor or a mentor. But when you can actually say that you have someone that has come in and has wrapped their arms around your family just as well. Um, he's out of the Upper Marlboro, Maryland market. Um, Director Gregory Scott, do I have you on the line and can you hear me loud and clear? Mr. Mika Smith, I can hear you loud and clear. I can see you very clearly. I can see you, Miss Tanisha Burke. I love the energy. I love the smiles, not just from you two ladies, but from everybody that's on here. Oh my God. And Tamikia, stop telling people about my money. I got to, sir. <laughs> telling people about my money. I got to. Duplication. I, if I get mugged, I'm going to say that daggone Tamikia. <laughs> <clears throat> but listen, <clears throat> everybody, we're here to have fun. We're here to do business. We're here to have fun. We're here to do business. We're here to learn. Uh, Tanisha, I'm glad that you set the tone because some of the people that are in this group uh, yeah. have no idea, have no idea about the labor. And I'm sure they're, they're kind of figuring it out that Tamikia Smith has done to put this together. And it's not just for her team. She's trying to help everybody. And that's a testament of who we are, the fiber, the very fiber, the very essence of who we are and who we should strive to be um, as individuals that are part of this, uh, this amazing business with Planet Marketing. And so big ups to Ms. Tamikia Smith. I could go on and on and on, but I'm not going to do it because we have work to do. And all of the work that we have to do during whatever time period Tamikia says, this is the coach and the coach yielding to the coach. And so whatever we got to do, whatever Tamikia says, there are no one stars, two stars, three stars. Look, forget the ring. I can take my ring off because I'm going to yield to whatever Tamikia Smith needs us to do on tonight. All right? So, Tamikia, I'm going to throw it right back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Um, how about let's jump into peaking interest? Let's get into that because we have heard so much. It was over... Um, I think like 98 comments of individuals that are saying that they're having issues with peaking interest. How do I peak interest? So I want to keep in mind that we may have some brand new business partners on the line that may be wondering, what are you guys talking about? What is peaking interest? Um, so I would love for any of you guys just to do me the honor. For those of you guys that are having issues, if anybody that is having issues with that, I would like you to maybe put it in the chat. Um, I can feel free to call on you if you have any questions regarding that peak in interest. But what we would like to do on tonight, y'all, we would like to actually hear from you when you are in, when you are actually peaking someone interest, whether it's on social media, whether it's outside, whether it's at the restaurant or even at the Walmart, let us know exactly what it is that you're saying. And then we can come back and let you know exactly how we would tweak it or how we would do it. Um, I would love for, um, for any of you guys to start that off for those of you guys that are having that challenge. And you are on mute, so I know you're gonna have to take yourself off of mute and you can definitely feel free to put that in the chat as well. Um, Tanisha and myself will both be looking in the chat. Anybody that's having an issue with peak interest. Now you had us on for two hours last week. So I am sure that um, maybe we answered the questions, but if not, we definitely like to hear from you guys so we can help you guys with the role play. Um, to me, yeah. I have, oh. okay. No, 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 no. If someone is ready to chime in, go ahead. Um, I am. Tane. Okay. Hey, Tanae. Yes. Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Thanks. Thanks for doing this too. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, my thing is like, I've, I was called a creeper last time because I creep 
people's inboxes and trying to stay away from that and building the relationships and not be a creeper. Um, a lot of things I do, I take part of the Jappy script and I kind of tweak it a little bit to however I reach the prospect, whether it's um, I saw them on another travel group or something like that to try to pique their interest because they showed interest in, um, you know, wanting to travel more and things like that. How to go about that, again, not being a creeper <laughs> and um, just jump into a conversation to get to see where they're at and if they want to make extra money. Okay, that's a great one. So it's about engaging and building rapport with the prospect. Um, when you're on social media, the way you, you kind of got to date them a little bit on social media. How do you date somebody on social media? You go to their page and you like a post. You comment on a post, maybe ask a question about a post. I mean, if let's say, for example, uh, you want, you know, you there's some a female and you go to her page and I don't know, she's dressed nicely, she got a cute purse or whatever. You can ask on the post, you know, oh, I love your purse. Where did you get that from? You know, or something like that, or you have a beautiful family, or you know, 100% facts, or, you know, if they say something that, you know, is, is inspiring or something like that, you got to kind of date them. Um, and then you won't come off as a creep. Because remember, every time you like or comment on their post, you're going to show up in their notification. So now when you private message them, they may not know you, but they know of you. Hope that's helpful. Are you there today? Yes. yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, and yes, let me I'm let me here. just ask a question if you don't mind. Um, I just want to kind of go back to the word creeper. Are you uh, basically saying that you're in their inbox, you're sending them the joppy script, and then there's somebody came back and said, hey, you're a creeper, or you feel like you're a creeper because you're just going in there doing just that? Well, it was um, when you had some training before with one of the other directors on there, and I told him that I go into their inbox, he said I was kind of creeping on people. <laughs> I forget okay. it was one in one of the oh, boot uh, camps. Director uh, Arian Raxter, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, but I do like I just go in like if, like I said if I find them on a um, give, like give me a, give us for, an example. Give us an example. Okay. You, you should be able to go to your Facebook Messenger. Tell us exactly what you're saying. Um, let me go to my Messenger real quick. Sorry. So I went into one young lady's inbox. Um, I was in the 10Xers and it was during when we were in the first boot camp in September. And I just asked her, hi, how are you? Um, after I posted in the 10Xers, I commented on somebody's post and she wanted more information. And I just said, hi, how are you? Would you like have 10 minutes to watch your video? And then she says, I'm doing great. Tomorrow will be great. Um, but then days went by before I was able to actually get a chance to talk with her again. And I keep following up. I don't think that's really a good example of what I mean. So she responded to your post first. Right. And you wanted information. Yeah. I don't see how that would hurt. Yeah. It doesn't make sense that she would call you a creeper because she asked for the information. Well, right. no, she, did, yeah, she, didn't, she, didn't, she didn't call her a creeper. Um, she was saying that when we did the last meeting, Arian told her if she responded in the inbox that she was a creeper. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mr. Scott, what's your take on that? <laughs> I mean, it, it goes back to what uh, Director Burke already said. You got you to gotta date people, and it's going to be a process. Um, there are some people that are, that, are, um, that are like a bullet in flight. You know, you know who, where, where your targets are or who your targets are. You have acquired your target. And you're looking at that person on social media saying, I'm going after you today, right? And so it's fine, but there's a tactful way. And it's not going to work for everybody because um, you might not have, um, you might not have, um, uh, you might not be where a Tanisha Burke is. You might not be where a Tamika Smith is, right? And so the foundation is going to be the foundation every single time. You got to be willing to date people. You got to be willing to build a rapport. It's not going to happen in one or two messages. Stop thinking that. 
because people want to see you. They want to assess you. Man, man, what are they doing? Wow. Man, I see her on trip. She's commenting on my stuff. You know, she gave me a compliment on my shoes that I posted, on my bag, or my hair, or my makeup, or my car. Man. And so it's going to be a process. How long is that process? It depends on the level of engagement. Because building rapport, uh, it's all going to start with you being who you are. It's all going to start with you being natural and not trying to be a salesperson, not trying to be a network marketer. Oh, here we go. Here's the pitch. Hey, do you keep your business options open? Stop it. Stop it. That's the, that's the network marketing lead in 101. Man, I see you have a wonderful family. Man, I see you going places. Man, I see you. Wow. You know, but, and, and so that's the buildup. And so you, you can't, you can, it's one thing to hunt. It's another thing to pray, P-R-E-Y, right? And right, right. if you just come out and you're going straight at people, but if you go through the process of maneuvering and watching and waiting and stealthily and being quiet and engaging them, it's going to take, it's going to take you to another level because you're going to appear to be that professional. And you're going to come, become that friend or that person that I always see on social media. So it matters that you build a rapport. Uh, Tamikia? And one thing I want to add to that as well is it depends what color they are. And you don't know off the bat what color they are. So you may need to take some time to figure out that color um, because if they are a red and you, oh, I like your this, I like, they, they, they will, a red can smell someone that's going after them and they much rather you get to the point because they're busy <laughs> and they're, they're, that's just the way they are. That's, that's the way I react when some people try to prospect me. It's like, you know, they're like, oh, how you doing today? And I'm like, what do you want? Can you just get to the point, please? Like, I know you're trying to prospect me. Just... So it, it does matter what color they are uh, to determine how long you need to date them. A yellow, you need to date them for a while on social media. You know, you got to really, really get to know your yellows before you can go in and, and ask the direct question. A red, you're going to be able to hit them right away and they're going to appreciate that you're not beating around the bush and getting straight to the point. You know, the blues, you know, you, got, you won't have to date them as long as you date a yellow, right? And the greens, you know, you definitely want to have your facts and numbers and all of that. You know, you got to engage with them so that they see that you're on their same level. So if you have not watched JP Watkins colors training, I highly recommend that you do that and study that. And that will help you use, uh, I guess the word would be discernment of how long you should date someone on social media before you prospect them. And there's, there's a lot of different things that you can say. Um, you know, those reds, those people that are already network marketers, those people that are, that, that can recognize somebody that's praying, on, that's, that, that's coming after them, that, that's wanting to inquire. Hey, Tanisha Burt, um, you're in network marketing, right? Yeah. How's that working for you with your company? How, look, not how is it working? How well are you doing with your company? You've got to, you've got to shape the verbiage, not like you're trying to put them down, you're trying to build them. How well are you doing? And Tanisha's gonna to respond. Oh, I'm a six figure income earner here with Planet Marketing. I do this, da, 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 right? And why do, Tanisha's gonna say, why do you ask? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And so when you're talking to other individuals, when you're talking to people who might, uh, might be new in another industry or with another company, you know, y'all are in these groups, y'all see people that are in other companies all the time. And so knowing the right approach, there's no wrong approach, there's a better and best approach. 
Mm -hmm. But the colors training, I'm glad you brought that up. That is critical. That's critical. Right, Scott, would you finish that out? So when Tamika said, why do you ask? What would, you, what would your response be? All right, let's go with it, uh, Tanisha. Okay, so go ahead, ask me the question again. <laughs> Get ready, Debbie. Get ready, write notes, y'all. Um, <laughs> Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Mr. Scott? I'm doing great. Listen, um, you know, it's obvious that you're, that, that, uh, that you're a businesswoman, uh, and I see what you've been doing um, in, your, in your particular industry. How is that working for you? What has been your level of, su of success so far? It's been going pretty good. You know, it's kind of been, I was doing really good before the pandemic hit, but you know, things have slowed down. So I'm definitely looking forward for this pandemic to be over to, you know, get things in motion again. Wow. So you've been starting and stopping. Is that what it, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely say that. Wow. I'm, hope, I'm hopeful for the future though. You're hopeful for the future. Well, you know what? Um, you know, all industries have been affected by this pandemic. Um, my industry is in travel. And it doesn't, it never, it's not a start and stop for us. And, you know, someone as sharp as you, someone as outgoing as you, uh, I've been watching you. You're very personable. You're very giving of yourself. You know, I'm looking for sharp people um, that might want to just take a look because I'm looking for the right people because I'm literally building my second layer of leadership right now. I've been in my company for five years. I've got over 2,800 people in my organization. And you look like someone who would at least give me a few minutes to just show you what it is we're doing over here. I would be open to looking. Okay. I mean, no, no, um, no guarantees, but, um, but I'm really trying to connect with the right people. And I, I see how you flow. I see how you, how you interact with people. And man, I think that, um, that this might be something that's intriguing for you. Yep. That's good. That's good. That's it. Yep. And just, just on that note, so I'm working uh, my LinkedIn. So I'll share a conversation with you there on LinkedIn. When you friend, when you connect with people, they have promotions. So has anybody on here work LinkedIn show of hands? Okay. So you know how they announce so-and-so has a new promotion, blah, 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 blah. So mm -hmm. this one young lady hit independent sales director at Mary Kay. And so I said, you know, congratulations, Renita on hitting sales director with Mary Kay. Uh, how long have you been in network marketing? With Mary Kay and she says I've been with Mary Kay seven years and I said wow that's amazing Mary Kay was the first business I did coming out of high school great company and great products but it just wasn't for me so what are the requirements now to become a sales director so I'm waiting her on her response for that because I want to see you know how many people does she need to hit what you know sales thing and then once once I get that information from her I'm gonna ask her you know, if she's keeping her options open or depending on what she says, you know, I may be able to say, man, with that type of organization uh, matched up with a very aggressive compensation plan, you know, how much more money she could be making. So a lot is going to depend on what her response is going to be. But again, I'm trying to find out where she is with her business because I know when you are selling products, and this is another thing that you all want to definitely uh, make sure that you know, is to keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on in other network marketing businesses when you're reaching out to those people. Because there's so many people that are in network marketing. They're selling all types of stuff. But one thing about when you're selling products, your money, it's not residual. Your money is based on sales volume. So you got to understand that if they don't hit a, hurt, a certain sales volumes, then the money doesn't kick in. So that's good information to know when you're looking to prospect someone who's already in a network marketing company. The other thing is when you go out to prospect them, you never, ever want to put down their company. 
Never exactly. say anything negative about their company. As a matter of fact, you want to congratulate them on making a decision to get into network marketing. That, that shows that they are sharp and ambitious and driven and fearless. You, you want to gas their head up for them making the decision to get into network marketing and tell them, you know, oh, oh, you sell Mary Kate. Yeah, that's great. You know, they have great products, great company, great leadership, all, all of that. You have, if you, if they even sniff that you're about to put down their company or tell them they should be with your company instead, you've already lost them. Mm -hmm. Right? So when you're speaking with someone that's in network marketing, uh, you always want to find out number one, you know, are they in it just for the, the discount on the product or are they looking to build a team? I always ask that question because there's a lot of people that are in network marketing selling products just because they want the discount on that particular product. So many people with paparazzi, they just love the jewelry. They ain't trying to build a team. They just wanted the discount. So you want to find out first, are they in it to build or they just want the discount? And then that will help you guide which way to go with the conversation. Right. Once they tell me they're, they're looking to build, I say, oh, well, how long have you been in the company? How many people do you have on your team so far? And then I say, you know, are you happy with the money that you're making? Once they tell me they're not or they want to make more, then I got them. Then I got them. Back to you, Director Smith. Um, the question is, where can I find the colors training video? Oh, if you don't know that, I'm wondering. How, I hope that's from a brand new person that's only been in here like. 48 hours. Who? I'm not even going to answer that. Who else <laughs> wants to answer that? It's in your planet marketing training in the getting started videos. Right. You can get it, get to it from uh, your website. My favorite place to access it is from your mobile app. Yep. In the training center. Mm -hmm. Okay. And <clears throat> Does someone have a question? Uh -oh. Yeah, Vera. Okay, Vera, go ahead. So I'm just wondering if you all can do a role play in a telephone call. You're prospecting over the telephone, not having had a um, social media conversation, probably somebody you probably already know, um, and you're wanting to um, pique their interest. So um, Vera, you're the newest goal builder. How about we use you, our brand new gold builder? Yes. No, this is for you. We're teaching today. How about this? We're going to, Vera, come on. We're going to use Vera. Listen. Goodness. Miki. Okay. Yes. Miki, you know, you know that once you do that, everybody's not going to ask any more questions. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Not going to ask any more questions. They're not going to do it. Okay. You're lucky, gonna... Vera. You know he's saving you. You know he's saving They're you. They're not going to ask. <laughs> so listen, listen. I love y'all. I tell you, I'm telling y'all. I know the pressure for y'all. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. If you don't mind, uh, Director Smith, because this is, this is your, you know, me and Tanisha will deal with, will deal with it. All role plays just for tonight, but you know what I would love to do? I would love to come back and have a quiz night. Yes. Yeah, that'd be fun. And we put it back on y'all. Yes. So we're teaching it, we're showing it, we're explaining it. Now don't y'all, let's see, it's 95 people on here now. Now on that night, it better be at least 95 people on here. Okay. So go with it. <laughs> we're going to double that, Mr. Scott, because after 40, 40, yeah. we're going to have 200 on. Look, and then it's going to be at random. So everybody got to show up. They got to show up. And you know what? If they don't show up, maybe they need to get kicked out of the group. You know that's, you know that's me, right? You know, I know that's you. I know that's you. Y'all know. know I like that, right? <laughs> I know that's you. Okay. Okay. Um, Tanisha, let's... Uh, no, now, is Vera going to... No, no, no. I'm sitting. No, I'm telling her to calm down. You guys are going to do it. I need her to breathe because she stopped breathing on me. I know. I need her to just breathe. I looked over there and was like, okay, never mind. I was just joking. <laughs> she <Wow>. had tapped out. <laughs> okay, let's go, Mr. Scott. I know y'all love me now. I know y'all love me real good now. Okay. So, Mr. Scott, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's imagine because uh, 
I worked with Carla. We were out of touch for a while. So let's use that scenario that uh, I used to work with his wife almost 15, 20 years ago. And boom, we connected on social media and now you're calling me. So we, we have some history. I know of you, but it was from years ago. Now, this is really the real scenario with a little tweak to it, right? Yep. Because this actually happened, which got Tanisha interested. Okay. All right. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Who's this? This is Greg, Carla's husband. <gasps> oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. We haven't spoken in like 20 years. How are you and Carla doing? We are doing great. Listen, Tanisha. Um, I know I've, I've seen how you, you've done some transitioning. You're now in Florida? Yes, yes. I, I was living in Maryland, then I moved to Pennsylvania, and now I'm in Florida. Love it here. Well, Carla told me that, that um, and, and thank you again for accepting my friend request, because Carla told me that you started, y'all connected back on Facebook and whatnot, and thank you for, you know, taking my friend request. So how things going for you uh, and your new husband now? Because when I knew you, you were single. Yes, I've been married now for 15 years, actually 16 years. And I have a 10-year-old son. And yeah, I'm do doing good. A lot, lot of changes since I lived in Maryland. Yeah, how about well, you guys? How are you guys doing? A lot of changes for us, too. You know, I'm still in law enforcement. Carla's still working in HR. And you know what? We started our own business. Oh, really? I, I did too. What business are you in? Oh, well, we're, we're, we're in the travel uh, industry. Hmm. Tell, tell me a little bit more about that. I like to travel. Do you really? I, of course. Wow. Well, listen, um, we got started in this, in this industry several years ago, and you know how uh, Carla is mm -hmm. having the entrepreneurial spirit about her. I was the one that said, hmm, maybe, maybe not. But when, it, when, they, when they shared the fact that it was travel, and when I saw the length and breadth of the opportunity, I said, oh, my God. And we just jumped in, and that was several years ago. And now we're one of the top income earners inside of the company that we're with. And get this, because you know, I know that you are familiar with network marketing. This was our first thing, but I just got in just because of the product. But Tanisha, when I saw this compensation plan, oh my God, and I began to attack it, it became a, it became a whole new thing for me. And so it's literally changed our life, literally. Wow, wow. Well, you're right. Uh, right now I have a health and wellness network marketing business, and I'm, I'm doing pretty well with it. And my goal with this business was really to use it to, you know, retire myself. Um, but I'm putting in the effort, but I'm not seeing the money that I know I need to be making in order to be able to walk away from my job. So I, it's funny that you called me because I'm actually looking to get into some other network marketing business because I do love network marketing and I know you know, that it's capable of producing the type of money I want to make. I just don't think this particular company. So if you could send me some information, I'd love to take a look at it. Well, you know what, Tanisha, I'll tell you what, as soon as we have the phone, I'm going to send you some information. The fact that, you know, you have been that person that has been looking for it ever since I met you and you haven't been afraid to try new things and you know when things are, are, are peaking and when you're going down a valley, um, the reality is when, when you sit, first said health and wellness, you know, that's a big market. It's a million, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a million dollar, no, well, it's probably a billion dollar industry. The next thing is a trillion dollar industry, which that's what travel is. Mm. And who doesn't like to travel? I'm sure that some of the ebbs and flows that you've experienced is with health and wellness is people are only concerned about their health and wellness for three to four months. That's right? exactly what I'm experiencing. Yep. Right. right. But who doesn't like to travel 24 seven, right? If they could. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you some information. And then once you've taken a look at it, matter of fact, 
if I send it to you today, um, I'm going to send you two videos. One is 11 minutes long. The other one is about three minutes long because I know that you're big on culture, company culture. One shows the, comp the, the culture of the company. The other one gives a high level overview of the opportunity. If I send it to you right now, how soon can you take a look at it? I can watch it tonight. You can watch it tonight. And so can we schedule a time, let's say at some point tomorrow for us to have a conversation? Absolutely. Uh, give me a call about 10 a.m. Um, okay, 10 a.m. should work. If, they, if anything changes, I'll text you. And okay. maybe we can re readjust the time, okay? Perfect, thank you. Well, listen, tell your husband I said hello and I'm looking forward to meeting him, all right? Absolutely. Tell Carla I said hi as well. Okay, take care. Bye. Boom. There you go. Comments, feedback from anyone. Would love to see a role play with a person that is not familiar with network marketing and has a full plate and not, not accepting of the idea of our business. Time broke. Okay, we can, we can do that. Let's let's assess the first one, if that's okay, Tamikia. Based on, and we can roll with the next one after that. Mm -hmm. If you notice in that exchange, one thing that I try to do, either whether I'm uh, messaging back and forth, right, reconnecting with someone, because this is verbal, but sometimes you go back and forth. How many of y'all have gone verbal back and forth? in a full conversation over 10 or 15 minutes, right? When I'm catching up with someone, you know, hey, how you doing? What's, what's going on with you? What's going on with you? Oh yeah, you know, still in law enforcement. And we started our own business. And then I get quiet. Um, what do y'all think I want them to do? Ask questions. Ask me about the business. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to ask me about Carla and the kids and work. And I, I said, and we started our own business. I didn't say what business. And we started our own business. People that you know that don't know you as a business person, that don't know you as the person that has a business, that has ever been in business, the first thing they're going to zero in on is what kind of business? That's the first thing they're gonna say. You know why? Because they're looking for a way out and they're looking for a way up. And well, doggone, if you got a business, what is it? <laughs> so, any other takeaways? I just wanted to make sure that y'all got that point because you don't have to say, and I got a business and it's in travel and it's this, and let them come to you. Let them come to you. That was very helpful. What'd you say, Angel? I said that was very helpful. Oh, good, good. Anybody okay. else? Any comments? Anybody? Or I was about to say one of the takeaways that I took from it was you continue. When she talked about her health and wellness business, you pointed out some of the facts about that, but then brought it right back to. Um, the travel side or your business. So you just kept on complimenting, but also letting her know about your business. Because mm -hmm. I want to give, I want to, you want to give the person just enough. You want to give them uh, vignettes. You want to give them. You don't want to give them. We want. Right. So that's what we talk about. Don't vomit on people. Right. Just give yeah. them a little something. But yeah, well, that's um, like a conversation. Go ahead, Ann Kat. Yeah. Hi. Um, I was just thinking, like when you say don't vomit on people, I thought that meant like don't like use so many words or da 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 da. But hearing you say that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm vomiting on people. <laughs> because it's like looking at you guys and hearing it, it's just like a natural flow of conversation. And I feel yeah. like I'm like, uh, well, do you have time to watch this video? You know, like kind of going, but I feel like my energy is so high 
And um, so watching you, it, it, it does put me in a state where, okay, just calm down, sister, you know, just, <laughs> you know, and just have a more flowing conversation. Mm -hmm. so I appreciate that. And, and also notice, ladies and gentlemen, also notice, she said she would be open to take a look at it. I said I would send it. I set her expectations of what? Time. I set her time expectations because she's busy. She's already trying to work one business. She's working full time. She's got a husband. She's got a kid. She's got a son. So I set her expectations. Hey, I'm going to send you two videos. I'm setting her expectations. One is 11 minutes. One is three minutes. One is going to give you a high level overview of the company. The other one, you'll see the culture of who we are. And when, if I send it to you today, when can you look at it? So what did I just do? I booked the meeting. Follow me. Yeah. And guess what? She's at 10 o'clock. I said, okay, but I also said, if something changes, I'll let you know. You know what's going to change? What's going to change is I accepted the 10 o'clock, right? But now I got to line up my three-way with my subject matter expert. If that doesn't work for him or her, or if I can't find someone, I'm going to try to adjust the time for someone that can help me so it's consistent with that person's schedule. So I'm thinking through all of that at the same time. Now, sometimes if you're on the phone or if you're texting someone or something like that, or if you're messaging back and forth and they agree to look at it, you can say, let me check my schedule. I'll hit you back shortly. You know what checking your schedule is? Getting a confirmation that somebody is available. And then you hit them back and say, hey, check my calendar. Is perfect. I'm sorry, Tamika. No, no, this is great. Um, someone, this question is for you. Which two videos do you send, Director Scott? Okay. Um, again, I'm going to tailor the videos that I send towards the person every time. Mm -hmm. If it's somebody like a T Tanisha Burke who has been in the industry, who has been in a few different companies, the first thing I'm going to send her is the big picture. I'm not going to send her the ITA rep, ITA preview. I'm going to send her the big picture so that she can see. And because she's been in the industry, she understands the culture of a company. So I'm going to send her either the, either the Planet Marketing 2016 convention or the 2018 one. I like the 2018 more than the, the 2019, personally. But either one is going to show you the culture. It's going to show you diversity, right? And those are things that people are looking at when they're sizing up a company. Now, if Tanisha says, oh, if, if, if I know Tanisha is a top income earner, I already know where the conversation is going. Yep, makes sense. Yep, cool. All right. Uh, how how are you, how you making this money? <laughs> she don't care about the culture. <laughs> she don't care about looking at no big picture. Show me the money. You know what I'm going to send Tanisha? I'm going to send her a comp plan. That's all I'm going to send her. Because I'm going to give her an overview. Look, it's travel. All right, you get it? Yep. She's going to say, yep, I get it. It's selling travel businesses. I'm not booking no travel. I sell franchises. Okay, you got it? Yep, got it. All right, what's the comp plan look like? Anybody that calls me about another opportunity, first thing I want to know, yeah, I'll, I'll look at it. I'm not leaving where I am, but send me the comp plan. And so you have to tailor it to the person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
And that's funny that you mentioned that. I had a, another gentleman on LinkedIn who said that he's looked at our opportunity and he, he didn't feel the, the comp plan was good. Right. And so uh, I wish I could find it really quickly, but he made he made a comment about the comp plan uh, that he didn't he felt like you had to accomplish, you know, the, the work that you had to put in to hit the first level or whatever wasn't good. And I said, really, you're the first person that said that I said I was able to to generate a six figure income in three years. But hey, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Right. So your posture has to be strong. He cannot. There's nothing he could come back with with that. Because I, I would love to see if he's made, was able to do six figures in three years. And even if he was, okay, it's fine. But I'm showing that my comp plan is just as good as yours, if not better. If you don't see it, that's fine. And I'm not begging you to join this business. So your posture has to be there. If they feel like you're desperate to try to get them and you're trying to convince them, you lost them. And they will keep dangling that carrot, dangling that carrot. And then you're going to be asking us, well, how long should I keep you know, following up with them? No. I don't. I don't. If it's not for them, it's not for them. And that's what I said to him. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But I was able to hit six figures. And again, if you haven't hit six figures, you could say that your mentor and coach was able to hit six figures in three years. And that's who's working one-on-one -on -one with you to help you accomplish your goal of, and you got to know what your goal is. You want, because when you share what your goal is and what you're looking to get out of this business, then they can, it may be in alignment with what they're trying to accomplish in their life, right? So you can say, you know, my, um, you know, my, my mentor, my coach, my business coach was able to create a six figure residual income in just three years of starting this business. And she's actually working one on one with me to help me accomplish my goal of being able to walk away from my job in 2021. Let me, let me add just a little, let me add a cherry on top of what you just said. Because this is about your posture, whether you're brand new, whether you're bronze, whether you're silver, whether you're gold, 2020 DIT, on your way to one star. I know that everybody's posture goes like this because of that, of that, of that, of that place called uncertainty about yourself, right? And so I get it. So to add to what Tanisha says, I am working with, right, one of the top income earners, but here's how you knock them out. I'm working with one of the top income earners who has already made a six-figure income. She's coaching me, she's mentoring me, she's training me and developing me to help me to get to where she is. Who's coaching and mentoring you? Boom. That's good. And then be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't say one word. Who's coaching and mentoring you? Uh, you still there? I can't, hello? And you say it with precision. You say it with, uh, with assurance. You say it with certainty. And what they gonna say? Uh, hmm, ain't nobody working with me. Because see, you trying to, that, it, I love it when they, how many of y'all have had people say to you, okay, how much money you done made? I wait, right? You know what? I haven't made that much money yet. However, and then go into what Tanisha said. They're committed to my success. They've shown me their commitment to my success. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm sharing this with you, thinking that maybe you might want to go on this journey with me. If not, you know, God bless you, but I'm gone. <laughs> you can stay where you are. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, but you good? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. That's you look up and you're going to wonder what happened. It's, it's, it's those little phrases that is like that uppercut, that, <laughs> that Tamika Smith, pow! <laughs> And, and I'm going to add to that too. 
you might get someone who now they're bragging about how well they're doing. And some, it might be true, it might not. They might just be talking smack, you don't know. And so here's what I say to them. When you get to the point where you're not happy with the money that you're making, come talk to me. Come talk and to leave me. It. And leave it. Just like that. When you get to the point where you're not happy with the money that you're making, come talk to me and just leave it. I've said that and have people come to me. Hey, you said, yep. And they came right back. And listen, the other thing to add to that, don't be afraid to walk away. Walk away. Being in a hurry, show the value. But when they start acting crazy, take it away from them. Listen, I'm not trying to beg you. I'm not trying to pull you. I'm trying to extend a hand to help you. If this is not interesting, if, if, if this is not something that you want for yourself and for your future, if you're good staying where you are, I'm good leaving you there. I'm not, and, and, and you're not going to be disrespectful to them. Right? You're not going to be disrespectful, but don't let them disrespect the decision that you made. Because when they know that they can disrespect and you just, oh, yeah, oh, wow, I didn't think about that. No. Don't let them disrespect your decision. You're going to respect what I'm doing. I'm not, you don't have to join me, but you're going to respect what I'm doing. Absolutely. I want to, uh, Director Smith, I wanted to kind of get into the uh, <clears throat> I can change your life. Uh, mm. just, just to piggyback on what Mr. Scott is saying about walking away, because this was something I was having a one on one with one of my business partners and, and this whole epiphany came to me. The conversation that you have with people is not a goofy conversation. Mm -hmm. It is a serious, I can change your life if you let me conversation. That is a very serious conversation. And you have to be willing to walk away from a sale if it is not the right sale. All money ain't good money. And what I realized when I started looking at that, um, when you first join this business as a brand new business partner, you just want to get your nine people, right? Anybody with a heartbeat and $200, you are ready to sign them up, right? Mm -hmm. Whether they've gotten on a call or whatever, you just want to sign them up. And then you, you realize uh, those weren't a good nine people. They weren't solid and then they fall off and now you find yourself, you know, the 28th of the month comes and now you're back to a bronze builder, right? It, it happens, right? but you have to be willing to walk away. So here's what you got to know about that. I realized that if you are struggling and living check to check, it is very hard to walk away. You, I want y'all to get that because it, it's a mind thing. It, it, your posture got to be up, but if you're struggling to pay your bills now and you come across someone who has a $200, but in your heart, you know this ain't the right person, it is very hard to walk away from the sale and say, you know what, this may not be for you. That's just real talk. I I've experienced that. So what that means is you have to make sure you get yourself into a place financially where you're not desperate. You cannot be desperate. You can't be looking for that sale this week to put gas in your car next week or else you will always make the wrong decision. So you have to first get yourself financially, you know, be, be, um, you know, responsible with your money to make sure that you're not desperate for the next sale or else you're going to go at it with the wrong intention, with the wrong energy. Okay. Once you get to a point where you're not desperate for the sale, you, it'll be a lot easier for you to have that. I can change your life conversation. And then if they coming at you crooked, you can say, you know what, listening to what you're saying, I can see that this is not a good fit for you. But if you change your mind in the future, you know, let me know or if you or if some if you know someone who's interested, let me know. But you cannot be desperate for the sale or else you will not be able to walk away from the sale. Back to you. 
You're on mute, Tamikia. You're on mute, Tamikia. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. No, Tanisha, I was just piggybacking on that. That is my favorite intro video. That is actually one of the videos that I send with Mr. Bradley, I Can Change Your Life. That is my first three-minute video that I personally send uh, because that's where your posture has to be. So that was some great nuggets. Um, going to one of our next questions, how would you respond to extra income is great. However, I have never cared for MLMs where you recruit others and are dependent upon them to make residual income. I am not really interested in, in that type of business. Um, you said, how do you respond? Yes. Um, let's see, do you have a nine to five? If the answer is yes, do you sign your own checks? If you're not signing your own checks, you're working for somebody who is. And so you're in their network and you're subject to whatever they need you to do. And so we don't make money off of people. We make money with people. And there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what other networks are you? <laughs> you don't want to do network marketing. I saw you with a Gucci bag, a Fendi. I see you with all this designer stuff. And every time you wear it, you're helping them with their network. Are they paying you? No. Hmm. That's interesting. All right. And so I, I pose those short questions to get people to think. Yeah, I am doing that. Mm -hmm. If Fendi gave you $200 every time they sold a bag and they gave you a code to give to the person to, who ordered the bag and every time they entered that code, the cash register went cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. How many Fendi bags do you think you could sell? A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And just, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Scott. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I did a, a, a private business reception in Tampa. And after I kind of did my, my introduction uh, and we were getting into the comp plan, I asked everyone in the crowd, I said, who in this room uh, is in network marketing. And of course, nobody raised their hand. And I said, okay. I said, I'm going to ask you all a question. And if it pertains to you, I want you to say guilty. And so I said, how many of you have ever referred someone to a restaurant? Everybody says guilty. Your, your barber, a movie, a sale, refer someone to a job. And everybody's like guilty, 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 guilty. I said, so you are a network marketer because didn't you just use your network of people that you know to make those other businesses money? And they're like, yeah. I was like, don't you think you should get paid? They got paid, shouldn't you get paid? So it, you have to get people to change their mindset and understand that they are already participating in network marketing. They're just not getting paid for it. And that's I'm not going to say it, but that's stupid, <laughs> right? So now, I, so I just shared with them. I said, now the only difference with what we do here is now you are the business owner and you are going to refer your network of people to your business. And if it makes sense to them and they get started, you get paid. Doesn't that make sense? And they're like, yes. So that is one way um, to address that question. Back to you, Director Smith. All right, our next question is, or they say, let me wait and see how you do first. It's like eating leftovers. Take that with Mr. Scott. <laughs> That's eating leftovers. Um, <clears throat> here's what you have to understand. People are going to be watching you that are never going to have a conversation with you, right? And they're the wait and see people, even when they haven't said they're waiting to see. So that's one point. I can't tell you the number of people on social media who, when I see them, when we're interacting, 
like in person. And I've been watching you. Oh, really? And so um, if, they want, if they're gonna be the wait and see people, um, it's nothing wrong, again, back to the posture. Listen, you can wait and see what I'm doing. You can wait and see what's gonna happen for me. I'm gonna let you know now where I am today is not where I'm gonna be a year from now. I'm giving you an opportunity to ride this journey with me. What if it works? And we become wealthy. What if in a year, we're in a better situation, we, because it's we, not me. What if we are in a better situation collectively in another year? If we're not, we probably learn something along the way. So that's a subtle approach. Well, listen, here's the, here's the direct approach. You can wait, you're gonna be watching. And I tell you what, when you're ready, I'll be ready with you, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be super busy helping my crew. I'll come back and get you, but man, if you came right now. Mm -hmm. But the, but the decision is yours. But please understand, <clears throat> whether you come or whether you don't, that has nothing to do with my success. Because I'm going for it. Yeah. Alicia? Yeah. So there's, there's so many different ways, and it really depends on the person. Again, like Director Smith said, there's no right or wrong. You really need to know uh, your person. And so... I love the one-liners, as my mm -hmm. husband calls them, planet-isms, right? And you could say to them, say, well, you know what? We're creating billionaires, millionaires, and witnesses. Witness. If you want to be a witness, that, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. That's number one. The other thing, you, uh, the, another thing that you can ask them is, if you knew when Amazon launched, that it was gonna be as big as it is now, would you have invested in it? And most people say yes. And I let them know, a share of Amazon right now, I just pulled it up, is $3,184 a share. And guess what? Some people waited to see what was gonna happen with it and now they missed it. And when it comes to business, it's all about timing and positioning. Right now we are at you know 58,000 active reps or active agents, but once we hit 100,000, we go into momentum. And so the people who are building now, before we hit 100,000, are going to be in a position to be flat out wealthy. But if you want to wait, it's going to be like you buying a, trying to buy a share of Amazon for $3,000. So the other thing is, so that's number two, depending on the person that you're with and the type of conversation you're having with them is to explain the four stages of business. I find that when I take the time to explain what formulation, concentration, momentum, and stability is, they have a better understanding. So now they can make a business decision and not an emotional decision. When someone says, I'm gonna wait and see what you do, that is an emotional decision. That is not a business decision. So you kind of have to gear the conversation towards business to help them make a business decision. And being able to explain those four stages of business will help them understand why they should do it now as opposed to waiting. Back to you, Director Smith. Absolutely. So everything that we said thus far, if you didn't take anything else away, you have to take away posture. Posture, posture, posture. How do you have the posture by doing exactly what you guys are doing now, plugging in? Plugging in so you can get the nuggets, so you can learn the more you know, the more you're comfortable with, and the more you're actually able to speak. Um, Beverly states, currently, I'm currently prospecting a high school classmate who has followed me online for some time and consistently likes my post. When I mentioned looking at a video, they looked at it immediately and said, it is something they had considered at one time, but it's very busy. I've used the initially script about working with busy people. What's the step? 
or maybe what's the next step? Maybe that's what she wants to say. For people that are busy, what is the next step? Um, first, you got to get them on a three-way call. I mean, th th that's the next step is to get them on a three-way call. Say, well, you know, when are you available for a call? Because I want to get an understanding of, you know, your, your time, you know, what time you have available, you know, what does busy look like? Everybody's busy. So you really got to get an understanding of what's going on in their life. And you have to be able to identify what the problem or the need is. And her just saying that she's busy does not identify what the problem is. She could be busy saying that she has two jobs. Well, then, okay, the problem is money. You work in two jobs oh. because you need money, right? So uh, until you, you got to get them on a three-way call so that the expert can identify what the need is and what the problem is, because I'm sure she doesn't want to continue to be busy. So, you know, my question is, if I could show you how to not be so busy and to get your time freedom back, would that be worth 30 minutes of your time? Mm -hmm. It's a yes or a no. Yeah, wouldn't that make sense to you? Of course. And let me let me let me add to that. What Tanisha just shared with you all, you've got to be willing to peel back the layers. The first layer is, I got a lot on my plate. I'm busy. Some people will say, "Oh, I understand," and then that's it. Until you until you get that person in a position where you can peel back the layers, because that's what Tanisha just did, peel back the layers. Okay, busy doing what? So just know why Tanisha's saying, get them on a call and finding out why. You gotta go from one layer to another. If you're not capable of doing that, let your third party validator do that because when I do a three-way call, before I get into it, I want to know about them because I need to know what can I peel back. It's strategic. Hey, listen, I know Tanisha shared with you a little bit about myself and whatnot. And, uh, and, and so tell me, tell me who you are. Tamikia, tell me a little bit about yourself. Wife, mother, cheer coach, entrepreneur, Da 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 Right? And so I've got a little bit of ammunition that I can use. And I want to peel back. If Tamikia says to me, well, I'm busy. I'm a cheer coach. I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. Wow. And and so I got to peel back those layers and help her to, and, and reverse it, just like Tanisha said, reverse it. What if you didn't have to be as busy? Man, you're really grinding for your, you know, for the money that you're making. And it sounds like you're doing well, but what if you could compress that and have more time? Mm -hmm. So be willing to go the extra and not just take, oh, my plate's too full. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, oh I've tried that before. Let's go into that. I've tried those things before. How many, how many people have ever said to you all, oh, I've tried network marketing before. It doesn't work. How many of y'all? Yes? Yes? I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Yes, 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 me, yes, me, yes, me, yes. Me, me, yes. Me. Okay. <laughs> and so what do you say when somebody says, I've tried that before. It doesn't work. Now, now, now I want participation. Somebody got to come off mute. How was your experience when you tried it? Huh? How was your experience when you tried that before? What did you okay. go through? Okay. And why did you stop? Okay, so that's a question that you ask, right? Mm -hmm. Let me get two more people. What do you say when somebody says, I've tried that before, it doesn't work? I would ask, this is Annie Briggs, I would ask, what, could you explain what do you mean it didn't work? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mr. Scott, Scott, this is Shalandra, how are you? Shalandra, how are you? I would ask them how much did they actually work their business? 
Okay, okay. And so all of those are valid questions, right? Just to give you a little bit more ammunition for you to have a dialogue with them. When they say, oh, I've tried that before, it doesn't work. All of those are relevant questions. Um, in my experience, the reason why people say it doesn't work is number one, nobody has helped them to show them how to make it work. It's not that the business or the product is not good. Nobody showed them the right way to market it. So they probably lack leadership. Would you, would you agree, Tanisha? Absolutely. It, it's, it's that and I always, you got to really drill down when, when people yep. say that. You, you, mm -hmm. you got to know what company were they with, what mm -hmm. were they selling. I, I, I can break down and, and you got to really, again, this comes back to keeping your finger on the pulse of the industry and what people are doing. For example, if someone tells me that they're with any network marketing company that sells a product, Here's, here's my conversation with those. And this is across the board. I don't care what they're selling. Jewelry, makeup, protein shakes, purses. It does not matter. This goes across the board. I always ask them this question. Would you agree that 70% of Americans are living check to check? How many of you would agree with that? And I'm probably being very modest with that number, right? So if 70% of Americans are living check to check, and let's say I'm having this conversation with Mr. Scott and he's selling protein shakes, right? He's in health and wellness. And I ask him, would you agree that 70% of Americans are living check to check? He says, yes. yes. And I'm gonna say to him, I'm gonna say, here, I'm gonna explain to you why it didn't work for you. If you're selling me these protein shakes, and you come to me and say, Tanisha, I have this great protein shake. I know you're on your, your weight loss journey and you know this can help you lose 20 pounds in a, in, in a month or whatever. I want you to try it. Because of my relationship with you, I'm gonna try it, right? You're my dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna support you in your business and I might try this shake and I might lose 20 pounds in my first month and I'm happy. But remember, I'm part of the, 20, I'm part of the 70% that's living check to check. So that means when I am faced with a financial crisis, something as simple as I got a flat tire, I need a new tire for my truck. Guess what the first thing is that I'm gonna stop buying? Them new shakes. Protein shakes. It has nothing, to, the shakes were working. I'm getting my sexy back, the shakes are working, has nothing to do with your company, it's a great company, has nothing to do with you, you, you know, you my guy. It's I'm part of the 70%. So guess what? I'm going to still stay on my, my weight loss journey, but I'm going to Walgreens or Walmart and I'm going to buy a different protein powder. Might not work as good as yours, but I'm going to buy what I can afford. And that is why it is very difficult to win when you're selling products. Now, with that being said, there's a difference between supplemental income and life-changing income. Would you agree with that? Supplemental mm -hmm. income is, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month. Life-changing income means you're trying to fire your boss. And I believe that with any network marketing company, if you put the effort in, you can make some supplemental income. But you just told me you wanted life-changing income. And so because, of the, because your target audience is part of the 70%, that is why you will not make life-changing income selling products unless that company is in formulation or concentration, right? So you have to educate people on the business. That's why I said, you, if, if all of you that are on right now, master explaining formulation, concentration, momentum, and stability. You have to know that to educate people on business so that they can make business decisions and not emotional decisions. Back to you, Director Smith. That's good. For those that are having challenges, master the three-way calls that we'll pick up later <laughs> because you can definitely do that. Um, this one is, I had someone who was offended by me asking what was her goal and how close she was to hitting it. Is this a team or a prospect? It may 
name, but I'm sure that it was a prospect. I don't know. If you're, if you're on here and that and Crystal, that's... Crystal G. Is the Crystal G on? We can't hear you, Crystal. Crystal G. No, she's there. She's trying to talk. Oh, okay. Can you wow. type it in the chat, Crystal? There you go. No. no, I think that's Tanisha. Can you take her off, Tanisha? She's off. Is she oh, just having an audio? That's issue. just her her issue. Okay. All right. So Crystal, we'll come back and type in the chat. Give us a little more detail. Was this a prospect or or a business part? You know. But I mean, if it, a, if it was a prospect and they were offended, I'm. I, I don't want to know why why would why were they offended? Like they should want. My question is, they should want, especially in a business, if your leadership is not, um, if you and your leadership are not on the same page of what your goal is, then how do they help you? That that would be my thing. Like I'm asking you what your goal is because if I could show you how to hit that goal with this business opportunity, wouldn't you want to know about that? I mean, it's a yes or no question. Listen, again, y'all, if y'all take nothing else away from this tonight, be willing to walk away from the sale. Your job is not to convince everybody to join this business. Your goal is to, to, is to find the people who are looking for you. And if they're coming off like they're not interested in what you have to say, or they're offended about a simple question, they are clearly sharing with you that they are not the person that you're looking for. Walk away. I hope mm -hmm. that helps, Crystal. Okay, so Crystal, wait, okay, I'm popping a button. So this one says, how do you speak with people who are eagles and very forceful and demanding when you are supposed to be less and best? I need that person to come off mute and clarify that question. Yeah, this is Samsung. Not sure who that one is. It's me, Elizabeth. Okay. It's Elizabeth. Um, I experienced a. Uh, I, I'm 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 thinking these people are already business people, but I had uh, doing a boot camp and um, they were very forceful trying to give information what I was not supposed to give yet, and I, I absolutely didn't know how to handle. What to Be tell specific. them? Specific. Can you tell us exactly what the conversation was, and then we can. I, I sent a yes, ma'am. I sent a. Uh, I had to. Be, I had to friend uh, twenty people, and I sent out a a. Uh, uh, what you call them? Those the skits. She sent a peak interest post. I'm assuming. A peak and interest. I think yeah. you're trying to say that they're they were trying to find out what is it that you do or. Absolutely. Okay. And yes, ma'am. Okay. So how does she answer when someone says, what is it that you do? Well, she was worse than that. Oh. She, she was absolutely worse <laughs> than that. She was asking me, well, I don't have time. You need to tell me what do you do? She kept coming back to me. I didn't actually go back to her, but she kept wanting to find out. And when I would come back with the re proper responses, if I could send you these videos or to watch these videos for me, well, that be, I don't have time for that. I need to know exactly what you do. Okay, so it sounds like the person was a red. And again, you have to know your colors. If they are a red, you cannot be around the bush. And one of the biggest mistakes you can do with the red is if they ask you a direct question and you don't answer it and you skirt around it, you lost them. You ah. have lost them. You can't try to kind of take them through the script and be like, well, hold on, you asked me that too fast. I got to first ask you this question. No, no, yes. no. When you come across a red, and I can tell by what you're saying, that person was a red. They don't have time. If you're trying to prospect someone and they happen to be be a doctor, you ain't going to be able to, to, to dilly-dally with them. If they ask you a direct question, they may ask you up front, well, how much does it cost? How many of you have had people you peek and immediately the first question they want to know is how much it costs? If you yes. don't give them a direct answer, you will lose them. How do I know? Because I've had people tell me that. And I've asked them, well, what's, what's your, your investment to get started? And they're like, well, let me send you. And I'm like, nope, see, you done lost me because you didn't answer my question. So you can answer the question, but you don't just answer the question and leave it. You got to give them more. 
So it's, if someone asks you, you know, well, how much does it cost? Well, it's a one-time $200 investment to get started. And with that, you are able to earn eight streams of income. I, my, you know, I was able to create a six-figure, right? Leverage my story, leverage Tamika's story. You know, if you haven't hit certain goals or whatever, or you can say, you know, our company um, in five years, we've created 70 six-figure income earners. We pay out over $2 million, right? So use these, um, the stats of the company to go along with your answer that it is a $200 investment to get started. But if you just say it's $200, well, guess what? That doesn't show the value of the $200. So now that $200 is going to become a problem for them, right? Because right. money is only an issue in the absence of value. But when you're saying that $200 investment has generated six-figure incomes, right? Our company's paying out $2.5 million or whatever it is. I, I don't, I'm sure we'll hear on the five-year anniversary with the new stats. 2.3 today, but. 2.3, <laughs> right? $2.3 million. Now you got their attention because you didn't just say it's $200. It's showing the value along with that $200. But when someone asks you a direct question, know up front that they're probably a red and you need to answer that question. So you're gonna have to tweak. Remember, these scripts that we're giving you are just that. They are scripts, they are templates, but you have to, you must, it is imperative that you tweak and modify those scripts to the person that you're speaking to. The scripts are just to help you give an idea of how the flow of the conversation should be. The script mirrors the PS3. Okay. It's peaking interest, show the plan, three-way call. That's all the scripts are doing. They're mirroring the PS3, but you have to tweak it and modify. Does that help you? Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. So, Tanisha, let me follow up with a question. When you have a red, and they direct like that um, demonstration that you just said, do you go straight to the comp plan or at what point in time do you even demonstrate the comp plan if they want to know more about the money? I'm taking them offline. I'm going to say, when are you available for a call so we can have a six-figure conversation? I'm not, me personally, I'm not going back and forth on Messenger. I don't have time for that. And well, if you're a business person, you shouldn't have time for that either. Right. So I'm going right. to quickly say, when are you available for, you know, a 15 minute call so we can have a six figure conversation and I can get all of your questions answered <laughs> and I'm going to set the appointment. You got to take and, them offline. And when you take them offline or if there are, or this is an offline conversation and that red comes to you and says, okay, this is okay. So um, tell me about the comp plan. Well, I'd like to send you a video. It'll explain the whole comp plan. No. This is with a red. This is with a red. Because I'm going to tell you right now, and you know the story, Tanisha. If I did not know my comp plan, Lynn Hendricks would not be here. because she came in for travel. And the person that sponsored her, she told her sponsor, I don't wanna to talk to no network marketers. Don't have them calling me. I don't care who your upline is, who your downline is. This is all I wanna do. She dropped two or three people in, in less than, in like three days. Her sponsor would not let me talk to her. I didn't have access then as a director. I got access now to everybody. I don't need the gatekeeper no more. But true story, I called her. And I said, hey, this is who I am. I'm your upline. I know you don't want to talk to me. I get it. I just need you to know what you're leaving on the table. Would you give me 10 minutes? of your time. You know what that red said? She said, you got 10 minutes. And when somebody says, you got 10 minutes, you got to get it. <laughs> I was done with that comm plant in seven and a half minutes. And I said, ma'am, uh, I'm going to dismiss myself. I just wanted to let you know what you're leaving on the table. 
And, you know, I, I will never call you again. She said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Then she started asking me questions. Why? Because I knew my comp plan. And so for that person that you're dialoguing with, yes, take them offline. But each one of you needs to know how to break down that comp plan. You can't. Why y'all scared of me? This is a funny game. Debbie, Debbie. And, and. <laughs> this is a money, this is the money game. This is the money game. We're not playing hide and seek here. This is the money game. Y'all have to know your comp plan. Because there's some Tanisha Burts, there's some Tamika Smiths, right? That you are going to meet one day. And you got to be ready because that Tamika Smith, that Tanisha Burke could be the one person that turns your whole life upside down. But you got to know the money. And the more you talk about the money, the more you study that comp plan. I you can wake me up at three o'clock in the morning and say, give me the comp plan. That's that is that is so so true, and that's a good analogy. Um, I'm sure some of y'all on this uh, Zoom is under the leadership of Miss Toya Brent, and bringing her into the business, it took three of us to have to know that comp plan. <laughs> Tanisha, Greg, and myself, because she was already a multi six figure income earner, and she had already been a part of network marketing, and she knows money. So when I say you had to bring it to her, you had to bring it. But at the end of the day, look didn't come over here for travel. It was strictly about the money. So you had to know that compensation plan. And here she is a one star on the way to two star director. So um, definitely what he's telling you is correct. And I want to pick uh, up to that really quick. How many of you want a fire red on your team? Right, show of hands. <laughs> you have to prepare yourself now to one, be able to engage them and two, to be able to lead them. So that is key. You, you praying, oh, I wanted Tamika Smith on my team that's going to take this and, and, and become a director in, you know, was it three months, four months, whatever. Okay, but if she, if you prospected a Tamika Smith today, could you have the conversation to close her? Can you break down the compensation plan? Can you talk about the money? And then if they did join, if she did join, can you lead? Can you lead a red? Because a red is not going to follow a yellow. A red is not going to follow a blue. So if you are a yellow or red or green, you have to find your inner red. And we all have all four colors in us. But you have to find, you got to be able to turn on that red when it comes to planet marketing or else you will not be successful in this. It'll take you a long time. I'm not going to say you're not going to be successful. I'm saying it, it will take you longer to uh, achieve your goals. So a red, a red, we all have to learn how to lead all the different colors. But for those of you that are serious builders, you going for the jacket, you going for the rings, you have to be able to prospect the red, have that red conversation with them, and then you got to be in a position to lead them. And so if you can identify now the skill set that you're lacking, now you know what to focus on as far as your training, right? If you don't know how to give a, a talk about the money, the comp plan, if you can't break it down, if you can't understand the matrix, then that's what you should be studying every night until you are able to get it. You should be on every single presentation and taking notes of them going over the comp plan. So understand those business presentations are not just for the guests, they're for you. Because unless you're able to deliver a flawless presentation, then you're not ready for a red. You gotta get ready. You don't wait until you get a red and say, okay, now let me get ready. How do, you know, let me try to lead them. You should be in a position now studying and getting ready for that next Tamika Smith that hits your organization. Um, Tamika. Oh, yeah. 
I'm here. Oh, my camera stopped again. I'm here, sir. Okay. So, um, you know, we're dealing with a lot of the different objections. And I want to be true to, to, to the goal for tonight. How about the invitation? Oh, look at it. Tara's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, let's... Let's uh, I'm putting let's, my questions in the box, but yes, because I understand what you all are saying, and that's a good uh, analogy. But when I teach my team, like Elizabeth, she doesn't know the, the business, but she's new. But I wanted to go peek, so I tell her less is more. Hey, I'm excited. I got something I want you to see. Uh, I just want, are you available this day? You know, those those are the what she. I think that's what she was trying to say because I keep having a because she's a minister in her own right, and she likes to throw up the words, and I'm trying to get her to say less is more. And so I wanted to see what you all thought about that as well. Thank you so much, Director Scott. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and before we go into that, Mr. Scott, um, real quick, I just want to put this out there and somebody can write it down in the chat. Get the books, The Four Agreements. Mm -hmm. The Four Agreements. That's uh, by Don Miguel Ruiz, R-U-I-Z. -R Get that Don book, The Four Agreements. Am I saying that right? Don Miguel Ruiz. Don Miguel, Don Miguel Ruiz. Ruiz, right? I'm saying that right. So I love that book, The Four Agreements. So I really definitely want you all to put that in that chat and get that book. And I think that's definitely going to help as well. Um, now, let me ask you this, Mr. Scott and Tanisha, this is your call uh, with it being 1033. Do we need to have a, a part B to this? Do you think it's rather late or what are you guys thinking? Uh, we could... We could do, it doesn't matter to me either way. I mean, this is being recorded. Are you guys, your time is okay? Oh yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay. Just making sure your time is okay. All right. Um, so Tara, did you have a question in regards to the objection? I did. Um, I, I, put it, I put it in the chat over here. Let me see what did I say. Yeah, I'm trying to watch the chat, but it's like all over. So I, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. But um, said, go ahead and say it. Come here for the sake of time. Just go ahead and talk it out. Yeah, I said, so how do you train your new people to peak due to them not being knowledgeable of the business? Because I mean, I could, you know, they may not know the color story yet. They may not know that, but I do want them to be able to invite to, I guess I, I just had a light bulb. Light and peak is two different things. Uh, but I do want to train them on how to invite so they so their their prospects can see uh, the presentation. So, so the you're invitation. This is a new business partner. Uh, this is a new business. They just signed up with the with the opportunity with Planet Marketing, and so what they teach us is to launch them soon. So they launch within three to five days. So three to five days, they don't know the business. So we have to have that script for them to, in order to get so them to to get their people uh, their right. Walmart to come. So Okay, so, you know, I had put out like the 15 day quick start, which is basically the four steps to a great, uh, you know, four steps to a, a great start. Um, and part two of that is going over, uh, you know, the Jappy script and explaining the million dollar seats and all of that. And then, yeah, it says to schedule their launch. So it's during that time that you can, when you're telling them, okay, we're going to launch you on such and such a day, that is a time that you should be role playing and giving them some information on how to invite those people. I'm already going to ask them, you know, who are your top nine people? Because we need to be, fill these million dollar seats. Who are the sharpest, most ambitious people you know? Um, one of the things that you can, and it really depends on who those nine are because these nine are usually going to be people that they know. They already have a relationship with them. Um, and so you can take it where uh, I, I kind of like sometimes the, the back door approach because a lot of time these are going to be people that they look up to, right? They're not usually their peers. A lot of times these are people that are wildly successful. Um, and so you can take it from, you know, high, uh, you know, Director Smith, you know, you are a sharp, ambitious person. I always looked up to you because of your business mind. You're successful. You're running, you know, you know, these basketball camps and things like this. I just started a new business. I'm super excited about it. Uh, would you do me a favor? Would you take a look at it and let me know if you feel that I made the right decision? I'm actually having a business launch on blah, 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 to share the information. So that's a good way for people to, to, to talk to people that are, that they look up to, right? Your doctor, your attorney, your real estate agent, people are already making money. They are already successful in their own right. So complimenting on them uh, on what they've accomplished as entrepreneurs, as successful people and saying, would you do me a favor and take a look at what I'm doing? You know, I'm having a business launch and let me know what your thoughts are on it. There, a lot of people love to give their opinions. 
They love it. Stroke their ego, and then you can get them on. So that's one way to approach the people who you look up to. Mr. Scott? Um, Y'all write this down. Be in a hurry. Be in a hurry. Number two, show value. Number three, take it away. Be in a hurry, show value, take it away. Okay? Uh, Tanisha, let's run it. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm calling you. We know each other. We haven't talked in a while. Okay? All right. Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Listen, I know we haven't talked in a while. Uh, I don't have a lot of time, but listen, I've got something major that is going on. I definitely want to catch up with you about Andy and Jace and all of that. But listen, I'm about to launch one of the biggest business projects of my life. The launch is taking place on tomorrow night, and I know it's short notice, but I really need you to be on this launch to see and hear about what I'm doing. Tanisha, can I count on you for 30 minutes of your time tomorrow? And I know it's last minute, and I apologize. What time is it at? It's at, uh, it's at 8.30 tomorrow night. I'm going to make this difficult. I'm busy at 8.30. Oh, you're busy at 8.30? Okay, well, listen, I've got a lot of people I need to call. It's okay that you're busy. I tell you what, when I do another one, I'll call you back, but I got to go. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. That's it. What did I do? Take it away. I took it away. <laughs> I took it away. Now, be that other person and let me just say, before you go on, Mr. Scott, the fact that he took it away is making me more curious as to what it is. What is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? So those are the people that are going to be following your social media now. So they're like, I wonder, let me see what it is that he, he's doing. Mm -hmm. It's going to make them more curious. But go ahead, Mr. Scott. Let's do it again. Be that, be that person um, that has a lot of questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. That person that has a lot of questions. Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Tanisha, I am doing amazing. Listen, I don't have a lot of time, but listen, uh, I'm about to launch one of the biggest business projects. I am so excited about it. Listen, uh, it's, it's happening on Friday. It's going to be on Zoom, right? Um, and I've got one of the top income earners. Uh, that is coaching me in this business. And he's actually going to be doing a full presentation on Friday night at eight o'clock. Listen, I've got a long list of people that I'm inviting. You are at the top of the list. So I wanted to call you first. Um, I really would love for you to be on there. Can, can I count on you to be on there on Friday at well, eight o'clock? What, what, what is it? What kind of business is it? Listen, I know you want to know what kind of business it is, but listen, time won't allow me to go into a lot of detail right now. But if you're on there, Tanisha, you'll hear all of the information. Well, I'm interested, but I, I, I need to know exactly what it is first. You know, what, what are you selling? Well, I tell you what, Tanisha, I've already told you I have a lot. Of, and I know you want to find out, but right now, I've got a list of about 100 people that I need to call. If we need to go into all the explanations, maybe I can catch up with you later. All right? So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Now, let me ask you this. What if I said to you, well, can you at least send me something to look at before? OK, so we back into it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I do have a clip that I can send you. It's very brief, but it's not gonna give you the details 
of what the business is. And here, here's the deal, Tadisha, because we're friends, I want you to see it in the same light that I saw it. I don't want to give you just a few morsels. I want, to, I want you to be able to see it in its fullness. And I think you would be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't see it in its fullness. That's why it's so important. Okay, I can respect that. I appreciate that. There you go. And again, it's just an honest conversation. I think. Now, now well, finish that, and I want to do one more. Yeah, I was just going to say everyone, you have to look at each person as an individual person and not focus on quantity, but focus on the quality of your engagement with the person. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, here's one more. This, this one's going to be real quick. Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Listen, what are you doing on uh, Friday around eight o'clock that could, that could um, potentially yield you income of about $500 to $1,000 every week? Uh, nothing. <laughs> what you got? Listen, I'm having a call at eight o'clock. I need you to be on there. Can I count on you to be on there? Absolutely. All right. I'll send you the information uh, as soon as we get off the phone. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Yep. That's it. Listen, if y'all are trying to invite someone, if you're on the phone more than 60 seconds, you're talking too much. Talking too much. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Mm -hmm. Because if they're asking you questions and you're engaging them, you, you're talking too much. Right. And, and the, to, to piggyback off of that, what Mr. Scott saying, being in a hurry, people associate being in a hurry with you making money. And so if you're sitting there having a long conversation with them, then in their mind, you're not making any money because you got all this free time to be going back and forth with me. You got to be in a hurry. Look, I got an appointment I got to get ready for right now, or I have a, a whole list of people that I'm reaching out to. You are at the top of the list. You got to, you got to be in a hurry. Some of y'all to back and forth on social media and stuff and and those people see you ain't making money because you got time to be going back and forth with them even with people that are prospecting you you engaging with them instead of saying how can i help you i have an appointment i have to get ready for right now you you got to be you got to always be in a hurry even if you're not busy be in a hurry always say i have an appointment i got to get ready for right now or i'm about to jump on you know I have another business call coming in, whatever the case may be. When they see that you are busy with your business, they're going to automatically assume you're making money. But if you got time to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it's like an hour and you still chatting with this person, they're like, you ain't making no money because you're trying too hard. Yep, posture. Back to you, Director Smith. Okay, you have a question that says, how do we, how do we know when to talk and when? What do you mean tonight with that? Can you come off of mute? Yes, yeah, so I kind of, I guess I'm kind of confused because in some parts we're saying we have to date our prospect in a sense, you know, if we're on social media and get to know them, but then at the same time, we don't want to talk too much. So that's where I'm kind of just confused like when do you know I mean I know you kind of feel out your prospect you know who you can talk to like if you're a red if you're talking to a red and things like that but I guess like I said I'm just I don't know if I'm just misunderstanding or what like yeah, what do you do to the, like when you're inviting you're actually now having a conversation with them and you're inviting or you're prospecting them that not to talk too much that's separate than okay you just sent a friend request to someone Okay, now you're kind of dating them, and then now you're going to prospect them. That's different. 
We're talking about when you're actually now engaging in conversation with them, you're going to peek them or you're about to invite them to something. We're saying, don't talk too much. You got to be in and out or else they're going to sit there and keep okay. asking you a whole bunch of questions and you're going back and forth, back and forth. You don't have time for that. You can't get through the numbers if you're going to treat everybody like that and have this long drawn out conversation. You got to be, and that's why if you look at the Jaffe script, what does it say after you peek? I have an appointment I have to get ready for right now, but if I send you a quick video, how soon can you watch it? Y'all can rephrase that any way you want. The point is you are in a hurry, plain and simple. Tweak the words, whatever, but you have to let them know at that point from the get-go that you are in a hurry, which is exactly what Mr. Scott said. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How much rapport? I think you're gonna have to gauge that based on the relationship that you either have already, if you're rebuilding it based on reconnection, or if you're establishing something new with somebody on social media. Um, there, there's, no, there's no how much, like, we can't tell you, okay, you all talk back and forth four times and now you can talk to them. Now you can talk about the business you'll know based on how things are flowing, based on uh, their response, based on their inquisitive nature, based on just how, how the conversation is flowing. Allow it to evolve. You gotta allow it to evolve. So there's no how much. I talked to him today, I talked to him yesterday, we message back and forth a couple of times. I'm going in. No, it might not be time yet. Right? In your gut, this, it's, for me, it's just my gut. I mean, what do you think, Tanisha? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, de definitely. But it, again, it goes back to the colors. If it's a red, I'm going in from the oh, yeah. You know, so it really depends on the person. The other thing is you should be uh, friending and, and prospecting every day. If you're friending new people every day, then that means every day there's someone on your list that you've, you know, sent a friend request a month ago, right? That you should be able to prospect or follow up, that you should be moving that person through the PS3 system, you know, at, at some point. But you got to work your business every single day. Right. Those of us, if you've been in the business, uh, you know, six months to a year, you can go right back to, you know, your friends list and, you know, looking at, you know, the birthdays. That's a perfect example. Right. Both Facebook and Instagram, um, not Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn have birthdays. That's the perfect time to peak someone. You may not have spoken to them at all for the whole year. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a perfect time for you to say, you know, happy birthday. You know, what are your plans? What are you doing or whatever? I can automatically turn that into a peak when I say, you know, oh, my gosh, it's your birthday. You know, happy birthday. What are your plans? Oh, well, you know, me and my husband are just going to go out to dinner. Oh, that's great. Are you going anywhere special? Right. Oh, we're going out to dinner. Great. Are you? Well, if you're planning a trip, you know, if you want to plan a, a, a nice getaway for next year for your birthday, let me know. I'll be happy to help you plan one. Do you love to travel? The moment they say they love to travel, I'm like, really? I'm like, have you ever thought about becoming a travel business owner so you can save on your travel and travel more? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I haven't, right? And then I got a whole script that, that goes along with that. So I can automatically turn a birthday wish into a, pros a, a peak easily. And that's every single day you're on Facebook it tells you whose birthday it is. And again, that might be somebody you just friended yesterday and today's their birthday, right? Or someone that you friended last year and you've never spoken to them at all. But I'm able to still turn that happy, I'm still gonna wish them a happy birthday and turn it into a peak. So it just depends. You get real savvy with it, you could, you, you could peak them right away. It, you just gotta you know, develop your skill set. And listen, mess it up. Can y'all stop being afraid? Go ahead and mess it up. You might, you might peek them right away, and then at the end, you're going to be like, dang, I messed that one up. And you'll, you won't do it again. 
You're going to be like, okay, I learned. You learn. You got to learn really quick what not to do. But you got to go for it. Remember, social media, you have access to millions and millions of people all over the world. So go ahead and mess it up, learn from it, and then you'll do better with the next one. But don't not go for it. Just go for it. And one last thing I want to share with everybody. Expand your social media. Yes, there's Facebook. Yes, there's LinkedIn. Yes, there's Instagram. But if you go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and type in social media, you will see that there are tons of other social media networks out there. Tons. Some I haven't even heard of. Tons. And so what I want you to think about, how many of you have ever gone into a Facebook group and you put a post or whatever and you see like, oh my gosh, there's like 50 Planet Marketing reps in this group, work in this group, mm -hmm. right? If you go on, I mean, I, 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 there's so many of them. There's, you know, Melanated People, Wimpkin, Parlor, or whatever. There are a ton of other social media groups. Do you realize you could be the first Planet Marketing, working that group or working that social media platform. Yes, you're going to have to get used to, you know, all their new, you know, if you can work Facebook, you could figure out some of these other ones too. But you got to take the time, right? You're going to have to friend people. You want to get some content on your personal page before you start friending people, right? So establish a new social media, uh, get some posts going, right? And you, it's so easy because you already have all these posts on your, your Facebook page, right? So take 20 of your posts from your Facebook page, join this new social media networking, get those posts up, and then now go hunting and friending people. Because once you send them the friend request, they're gonna go to your personal page. And do you realize you could kind of be like one of the first Planet Marketing reps working this brand new social media platform? And then, and, and then now you're spreading the love. Because for me, it's like, Facebook is like saturated almost. You know, you got to really, really, really think out the box and find these groups that there's not a whole bunch of planet marketing reps, but there are so many other social media platforms that you could join where you can be the first, you could be the pioneer of that new social media platform. So I hope that helps you all. Back to you, Director Smith. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see any more questions in the chat, but does anyone else have any more questions? Anybody else got any more I had, questions? I had a question um, about when we're in boot camp, can we tweak the squeak scripts then? In boot camp? No. It's all about duplication. <laughs> Okay. In my boot camp, anyway. When yes, you're in, your what, boot camp. <laughs> yeah, well, in, well, no, you know what? You're not in my, well, it's a, it's a difference. Hey. In the 40 days, 40 nights, I'm sorry, because I have two. You're not in my other one. So in the 40 days, 40 nights. Go, why, you gotta, why you gotta bust me out like that? I no, 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 I'm just saying you're not in there. You're, you're, not, <laughs> you're not in there. I'm sorry. So I wanted to make sure I made that clear because in my particular 10-day one, then the answer is no. In the 40 days, you sure can. You sure can. Absolutely. Okay, I don't you. kick you. I don't kick you out for that one. Okay. But in mine, it's it's yeah. Um, I only I have I think I have like three people in there. So I hope y'all got your last thing done. Y'all ain't got but an hour. Don't let don't be talking about Director Smith. I'm still on I'm on the on the Zoom. That's why I can't do it. I'm still kicking you out. <laughs> and she will kick question. you out too. She will. Right. We'll do. Yeah. I have one more question. Um. The on the invitation, when you're in a hurry, you're showing the value. When you take it away, are you going back at some point? And um, because when you're taking it away and they're actually the, that person you show, um, do you have any clips or something that you can show me and you're still taking it away? Is it at some point you need to go back and um, Reach share the invitation or call them again? What does Absolutely. that mean? Like? Absolutely. I mean, me, me going back to somebody uh, could be less than a week, you know, 
nobody is off my list unless they tell me and they got to say it like this don't you ever talk to me about that business again yeah if you just tell me well nah i'm not interested you know what i heard i heard I'm not ready. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. Right? True story. Best friend. Grew up together here in DC. Right? Got our first jobs together at a grocery store. He went off to college a year before I did. I followed him to the same university. We were roommates in college. I got on the police department in that city in North Carolina. He followed me. He was one of my best men when I got married the first time. I tried to get him in this industry for 10 years. You know, he told me no for 10 years. For 10 years told me no. He is now a one-star director in Planet Marketing. And you know what he does every day? He's kicking himself. Because he was one of the first persons I called on October the 25th, mm. on October the 26th of 2015. You know, he told me no. And then a year later, I went to his house in North Carolina. And I said, you're going to sit down. You and your wife are going to sit down. I'm going to talk for 30 minutes. And if you do not join this business, I'm never, ever, ever going to bring this up ever again. I went, I talked. His wife looked at me and said, did you tell him about this? I said, yep. She said, he told you no? I said, yep. She said, we're signing up. I'll talk to him later. So the no is, for not, is really not now. Unless they just tell you, hell no. then there's always a possibility. Mm -hmm. And all of us that are leaders have those same stories. So you always got to go back to them. Never take them off the list. Never take them off the list. Mm -hmm. Because, and, and, and I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to be done with, with this. Everybody's life changes. People's lives change from day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year. And so you have to be willing, you, that call that you make, that may be the day. That may have been the week that they have just thrown their hands up and said, I got to find something else. Ring. Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? Mm -hmm. That's true. So keep that in mind with those no's that you perceive to be no, because people's situation changes. You just don't know when it's their day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and just to, to add to that, this is why it's also so important to post, you know, daily on your social media page and, and show that your business is growing, right? It's not talking about your business in every single post, right? Those of you that have been in Director Smith's boot camp, it's not always a business post, right? Sometimes it's just an engagement post, or sometimes it's just to say good morning, or sometimes it's just to share something about yourself. But when you're announcing new business partners, and I always say, in my opinion, that is one of the 
easiest things to do to generate new business, but a lot of people don't do it. But if you announce a new business partner on your personal page a couple of times a week, that is going to show the people who haven't joined yet that your business is growing. Things are happening for you. And so when they're ready, they will come to you. You know, and I'd like to, I don't know if she's still on, uh, but Miss Charlene, is she still on? Yep, Charlene's on. She was following me on social media before I even got started in Planet Marketing, right? I was in uh, Advocare, that was back in 2015. And so she saw me join Planet Marketing and nothing happened with the business, right? She didn't join. But if she, when she was finally ready to join, if she hadn't seen me traveling, if she hadn't seen me announcing new business partners, if she hadn't seen me going to convention, if she hadn't seen me doing going to Tampa and Jacksonville and Wyoming and building my business and people joining and me shouting out these new people, when she finally made the decision, she got up that morning and said, I'm ready to join this Planet Marketing. If she didn't see me over the years hit them promotion, she would have signed with one of the other 58,000 Planet Marketing reps that are out there. Mm -hmm. And especially right now is the best time that you should be announcing them because people think what? What do you guys get all the time? People are not traveling right now. They think that people are not traveling. So we have to shout them out. Now it's better than ever, right? That, that is honestly the biggest thing in doing that. So it's so good that you did say that, Tanisha, because mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. you know, I got one more thing that I want to share with everybody. Quick, quick training uh, or, or tip of one of the things that I do on three-way calls. And you don't, even if you're not the expert on a three-way call, you're just kind of having a conversation with, you know, a friend or a family member. We have to get people, and Mr. Bradley says this all the time, and the first time he said it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. He said, the reason why your business isn't growing is because you're too busy selling travel agencies and I'm selling the dream. Mm. And when he said it, it hit me. Mm. And I was like, how can I get the team to really understand what he meant by that? You have to sell people their dream. People have stopped dreaming because they are hurting. They don't get the luxury to daydream about what their life would look like if they didn't have to go to the job that they hate every day. They can't even think to that point. And so when I'm having a conversation with someone, and those of you who I've done three-way calls for, you, you already know where I'm going with this. I always ask, I first ask them, you know, tell me, so, you know, who is Gregory Scott and, you know, what has you looking at this business opportunity today? And he's going to tell me everything. And I'm going to say, okay, let me ask you a question. If you had unlimited income and unlimited time, what would your life look like? And I'm going to get, I'm going to say, I want you to be specific. I'm going to ask you, I want to know if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? He's going to say, oh man, if I could live anywhere, well, I'd live. And he's going to tell me, I'm going to say, if you could build your dream house, where, what kind of house would you build? What kind of features would it have? Oh, I would have four bedrooms. I'm going to have a man cave. I got to have a theater room. I want the pool. I want the spa. I want, okay, all right. If you could drive your dream car, what would you drive? Oh, I'm getting the Mercedes. Yeah, the one that massages, you know, the seat. Yeah, that one. Okay. And how would you spend your time? Because you got unlimited income and unlimited time. You don't have to go to work now. What, how would you spend your days? What would you do? And he's going to start to, so through that, he's, he's dreaming of what life would look like. And, I, and this is the perfect one for that person that says they too busy. This is the perfect question to ask them. I want to know what your life would look like if you weren't busy, if you had unlimited income and unlimited time. So once Mr. Scott answers all my questions, I'm going to say, okay, here's the question now. How much income do you need a month to maintain that lifestyle that you just shared with me? Again, I'm trying to sell him his dream, not my dream for him, his dream. And when you ask people that question, some of them have a hard time coming up with the answer. 
They have no clue. Some people, you can ask them, well, how much is your monthly bills? And they have no clue because they're afraid to look because they're in the negative every month. So you may need to help them, right? And so if Mr. Scott tells me, um, you know what? I need about 10 grand a month to live that. You know what? Let me, let me go back. Let's say he tells me 40,000 a month. Right, because some people they have no clue, so they throw out this big number, forty thousand a month. Meanwhile, they're only making two thousand a month at their job. So now you got to bring them back down. Say, okay, forty thousand is the goal, but would you agree that we if we first need to get you out of your job? Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay, so so how much income do you need to cover your household bills right now? Let's start with that as a first goal. And then that'll be on the way to get into 40,000 a month. And so based on what he tells me that amount is, let's say he says, you know what? I need $4,000 a month to get out of my job. And then, you know, go to the next thing. I'm going to go right to the income disclosure statement. And those of you that know me, I, the income disclosure statement that Planet Marketing puts out tells you what each level made on a yearly basis. We'll take those numbers and divide it by 12, and now you know how much they're making on a monthly basis. Because again, if you're talking to the middle class, they think month to month. So when you tell them six figures, they have no idea how much that is. I did not know how much six figures was monthly until I went to a Planet Marketing meeting with Mr. Bradley, and he said $8,333 a month. So I know I'm not the only person who does not know what six figures looks like on a monthly basis. So you got to meet people where they are. Always assume they don't know. And so if you take that income disclosure statement, then I'm able to say to Mr. Scott, well, Mr. Scott, we have a, a level in our company called a two-star director. And that's someone who has a team of just 300 people. Now, keep in mind, Mr. Scott, that does not mean you are enrolling 300 people. But can you imagine sharing this opportunity with 20 people? They say yes. And then you and those 20 people go out and share it with more people who share it with more. And eventually you get to 300. Can you imagine that? And he's going to say, yeah, I can imagine that. I'm going to say, okay, the average two-star director works this travel business about 20 hours a week. Do you think you could commit 20 hours a week to building this business if it will pay you $4,000 a month residually? I'm going to say, yeah, I can, I can find 20 hours a week. Great. In 2019, the average two-star director made $4,195 a month. And he's going to be like, wow. So see what I just did? I identified, I got him to tell me what his dream was. And then I just showed him how this business opportunity can get him to his dream. Right? And then I'm going to take it. I'm going to say that after that, then there's a three-star director. So now your team of 300 has grown to 500. And guess what, Mr. Scott? That's going to happen in spite of you. Because let me ask you a question, Mr. Scott. If those 300 people are making money, saving money, and traveling more, do you think they're going to keep it a secret or are they going to tell some more people? Right? He's going to be like, they're going to tell some more people. And then I'm going to say, well, guess what? On average, our three-star directors were making $9,315 a month. Right? And then I'm going to keep going until I get up to the five-star director, which does pay out the $40,000 that he was looking for. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, the power of that income disclosure statement, because I know when we're doing the presentations, we really just breeze over it. But can I tell you, that is the tool that I use to close everybody on a three-way call. You got to take what they're looking for and show them how in this business they can make that money. Because I can guarantee you, especially if they're already in network marketing, where they are selling products, they cannot tell you what level they need to hit to make a certain amount of money. They don't know because it's based on sales volumes. But this is a very powerful tool. So this is how you can sell people their dream. Back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that amazing, all we see in the chat is that was awesome. Wow, 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 wow. Well guys, I want to first of all, thank you guys so much for being on with us. Um, two hours, two hours. That shows us that you guys are hungry for your success. So we're super excited about it. I know we still have um, 
I think we, we didn't do objections, right? So we still need to do objections. So what I would like to do is get with these amazing individuals here, both of our directors and see their schedule. I'll let you guys know. And then we would be more than honored to come back and do a plan B or part B, should I say a part B um, with objections. And by then we may even have one other topic. Is that okay with you guys? Absolutely. 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 What about you, Mr. Scott? You think you'll come back? uh yeah <laughs> yeah okay 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 now if this was i'm just going to be honest with y'all the same way i run my boot camp right if this was the actual 40 days and 40 nights i wouldn't even start this training until 1201 right that's that's how we do it over there we don't even, we wouldn't even start to 1201 so i wouldn't be rushing y'all off but of course guys i want you guys to get off get some rest get your mind right get prepared for you know what's what's coming up hopefully you guys took some great great notes um, I'm seeing all of the information in the chat, of course, even in my inbox, my personal inbox has just been blowing up with so many people sharing how valuable this was. And so I'm super excited about what we're doing, um, having all of you guys on. And most importantly, I, I have just been bragging all week about the synergy. What do you guys think, Director Scott, Director Burt, the synergy uh, that you guys are seeing from this organization? Can you touch on that real quick? Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Like it just takes you know, the family, we, we have a, Planet Marketing has created a family and we all talk about it when we go to, we don't even call convention, convention, we call it the family reunion. And I, you know, I was, I was thinking it was going to be lost with the pandemic because we're not doing the weekly meetings and stuff, but we, everybody has done an amazing job of utilizing Zoom um, and what they can to still create that synergy. And to be honest, I think it's higher now than it was before the pandemic. I really do. So a great, great, amazing job, everyone. And it's because of each and every one of you plugging in. If y'all didn't plug in, we wouldn't have this energy. So you should all give yourself a pat on the back for that. Yes. What about you, Director Scott? Any closing nuggets? Um, listen, you all are getting so much. And here's how I would encourage you to show your appreciation, not for me, not for uh, Ms. Tanisha Burke, but for all of the work and the labor and the time and the toil and the evaluating uh, that is being done in such, um, in such a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Meticulous. Uh, huh? Meticulous. Ooh, I love meticulous very meticulous, very detailed manner uh, by Ms. Tamika Smith. Here's how you can show that you appreciate her. Hit your goals. Hit your goals. It's that simple. She doesn't want any stuff. She just wants you to hit your goals. And guys, ladies. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna say this. If y'all miss this moment in time, here's what I'm gonna tell y'all. I've seen this movie before. Mm. Ain't none of y'all seen this movie. Nobody on here has seen this movie. Formulation, concentration, momentum, stability. I've seen this movie before. I arrived in the theater where this movie was being played 14 years ago. When I walked into the theater, there were people making two to $300,000 a month. Let me, let me scroll and see the faces of everybody. <laughs> uh, there were people making two to $300,000 a month in the same industry. Previous company, not gonna get into all of those details. Here's what I will tell you. Um, many of them squandered their money and they lost it. The company was cocky, 
pride goes before the fall and it fell. Now, guess who was a part of that company? Mr. Donald Bradley. Guess who was one of the top income earners in that company? Mr. Donald Bradley. Guess who became a millionaire in that company? Mr. Donald Bradley. Guess who is the only millionaire that's still making millions? Mr. Donald Bradley. Why am I sharing that with you? This is not that company, but this is that leader. And look at the leaders that you have who are being molded. All of us are still being molded at our respective places right now based on his leadership. Right? What could happen for you? We're five years in. What if in the next five years, you're making the type of income that we used to call stupid money? Because that is, is, Tanisha, is that utterly ridiculous? Mm -hmm. Two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars a month. Mm, yeah, that's stupid money. That's stupid <laughs> money. Stupid money. <sighs> Guess what? The cast has changed. The studio is open. And we're auditioning for people right now. Is it you? What role are you going to play in this movie? What? What, what is Nick going to play? What, Bobby, what are you going to do? Vera, what costumes are you going to wear? Gina, you're going to be the tap dancer in the movie. I already know, but you're going to be in it. Right? What role are you going to play? Guys, you're here in 2020. Do you know your 2005 self is waiting for you? Your 2005 self is waiting for you. And they're waiting for the decision that you make right now. Guess what? Tamika Smith does not want to be the only one making the money. Uh, Tanisha Burke does not want to be the only one making the money. Gregory Scott does not want to be the only one making the money. Two hours and 20 minutes. This is what it's all about. Man, we're back. Okay. I mean, this is what it's all about. And so guys, get out of your way. Get out of your own way. Run the plays. Do the work. Get the results. And help other people. Sometimes... I find myself when I'm talking to Nisha, and you've seen me start crying. <laughs> Tamikia, I think you've seen me cry a couple of times. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> but sometimes us as leaders, we want it so bad for y'all. And we labor and we toil and we sacrifice, but come on. The time is right now, right now. Bet on yourself, bet on yourself. And let's get after this. Because I'm, I promise you, 
if you miss this, You're gonna be kicking yourself. You're gonna be kicking yourself. So, guys, listen. High note. We're in this together. That's why we're still on here. We're in this together. So, there, there comes a point in time to make here where, where the playbook is like closed. Like, y'all just gotta go do the work. Because you could have all of this knowledge and no knowledge and no execution. What you here for? To be taken through the ringer by Tamika Smith? That's what you showed up for? That's, a, that's all you want to do? Oh, you're here to be a part of something? Hmm. There's some social organizations that you can join. That ain't what we're here for. Is this a void to fill in your life? We're doing this little business. Oh, you want to hang out with the rock stars? Like the top less than one half percent of the company, like the top 20 income earners. Oh, you want to be a groupie. Oh, you want to clap for everybody? Oh, okay. 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 We're going to love you. But we're going to walk away saying, that's so, that's too bad. Case study. <laughs> we're going to be saying, hey, Tamikia, you remember all those people that was in your boot camp? Where they at? They, we five years later, they, they don't have a ring yet. They, Tamikia, they don't have a jacket. You got to be kidding me. Tanisha, they're not on your yacht, your boat. They didn't, they didn't. I thought they was gonna show up at our director's retreat that me and Carla was gonna pay for, for everybody. That's a director, qualified. Y'all the only two that heard that. <laughs> Y'all better not say nothing. <laughs> Oh, they still not? No. Okay. So guys, come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, I'm challenging each person on here. Before can I can I do a can I do a challenge to make you? Um by 10 o'clock. Saturday. What time? What time is the anniversary? Ten a.m. Okay, by nine o'clock Saturday. Um, get one. She's not gonna kick you out, but just get one. In today, Wednesday. Man, I'm being nice. Tamiki would say, uh, you got till six o'clock tomorrow. Some of them have until 11.59 at night to get one, right? Some of y'all. <laughs> okay. So they, they may be on it. They may, they got until 11.59. They might want to get off, make the last call. Now you're going to be getting calls, you know, in 30 minutes. I'm like, can you do it three way? <laughs> okay. Get one. All right. I'm 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 done because I don't want to I don't if Mr. Scott would have stopped talking I would have got mine tonight. Okay, I'm stopping right there. I and heard just you. An FYI, everybody, um, I am recording this as soon as we get off because it's long. It's going to take a 
a, a while to upload. And then tomorrow morning, I will send the link to Tamikia so that she can put it in the chat. No, just up, just upload it. Can you, you can just upload it right into the 4030 group. Okay, I will upload it to the, yeah. yeah, just put it into the unit section. And because Mrs. Scott saved y'all, what I am going to do for those that still in the boot camp, I'll give y'all until tomorrow. I'll, I'll give y'all until tomorrow. Vera says no. Y'all, Vera said no. I'll give y'all until tomorrow to get one. Thank you. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. I'll give, give y'all until tomorrow because you will on training. I'll do that for y'all. You got it. Very, that's so nice. Vera, I can't believe you. I'm really, to me, she, she won last last month. She know how hard it was. That's our recipient. Thank you. Here. Oh, so that one. She got five. Look, she got five last month. She won Mr. Moore's contest to get five. So she is going to be whining and dining with him, right there. And she went gold. She showed out last month, y'all. So she's not playing. <laughs> yes. All right. This has been great, Tamikia. Uh, you're an amazing um, leader. Um, and um, I'm glad to be a student with you as a coach because Amen. I'm learning some stuff. So thank you. We all are. And uh, just before we get off, you guys may have seen it. We're not going to you know, go into detail a lot about it tonight, but you guys may have seen me post it. So we're going to talk about tomorrow. We'll talk about that boiler room again for next Friday. I want to kick that off. Doing the 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, make sure that you guys have all of the information. So that'll be the next uh, Zoom that we'll all hop on because I want all of you guys, wherever you are, to participate in that boiler room with me on uh, next Friday. I think that's the 30th. Next Friday, we're going to do that kicking off at 8 o'clock. So the information is in the group. Go ahead and read up on it. But then I'll definitely do a, a training on it to make sure everybody's well equipped because I've seen so many people say that they were interested in it. So I want to make sure that you guys are doing that right, okay? All right, well, have a great night.